Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day video. I didn't think I would do these because I have a weird love-hate relationship with them. I used to be all consumed with what I eat in a video, video days, videos, what the, what I eat in a day videos. You know, they can be good and bad, but you have to take them with a grain of salt. And remember that, you know, every day fluctuates. Every day is different depending on when you wake up, your schedule, how hungry you are, your activity level, um, your stress level, just so many different factors that contribute to how you eat. You know, maybe something comes up in the day and you can't eat exactly when you're hungry or maybe you're extra hungry that day and you eat a meal and then an hour later you're hungry again and then you eat more. You know, it's always changing. So remember that. And I just think that it is good. What I eat in a day videos can be good because when I was in recovery, it was really helpful to see other people after being recovered that were able to be normal eaters, right? That was so mind boggling, <laughs> seeing people eat normally, but it was so crucial to be able to be exposed to that after years of being exposed only to clean eating, restrictive, what I eat in a day videos right so i think i'll do more of these in the future if you guys want them i have been getting requests to do them so i'm gonna do one and we'll see how it goes and i'm going to be improving on them obviously in the future <laughs> the lighting is not the greatest in this one but whatever i did it it was this is a different day because i woke up not at my house so you know you get a little more frazzled in a different environment but you do what you gotta do and that's the fun of it change here's the french press for my coffee i like using this coconut creamer for my coffee or i use half and half like a flavored half and half Typically, I don't have a Cybles. This is like every once in a while. I'm over here and I thought it'd be fun. Otherwise, I would just have my coffee, have my fruit, and then wait an hour or so whenever I get hungry again. And then I'll have like toast and jam and some eggs and avocado, you know? It, it's always changing. I put a couple dates in, put a splash of almond milk, put some frozen berry mix, Oh, and then a frozen cherry mix aside from this. Oh yeah, I put some of this in too. No, that's not mine. I like using this nut butter. It has, come on, cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, sea salt for the base of the bowl. I put like a big dollop, I should have showed you, of that nut butter in here, but this is for two. This is for me and the manpanion. Oh, and I put um, a frozen banana in there too. So put the acai in the blender. I think that's it. I put two packages of this shit in there. Now to blend. And I'm gonna chop up some cherries, white nectarines, and some blueberries to put on top. And oh, I'm going to I don't really like granola. Oats, whole grains do not do well with my digestive system, but they do for him. So I'm gonna put this granola on top of his. But I do do well with like white rice and stuff. I know that's gonna make some people cringe. Typically, I don't eat this late, <laughs> but we had a late night and a late start, but it'll do. And there we are. I cannot make them look all pretty. How is it? <laughs> Amazing. I couldn't even finish that acai bowl. That's why like when I have my coffee in the morning, I just have like fruit or something light. That was a heavy acai bowl. So like just FYI, before recovery, like before and I was binging and like I was restricting and binging and restricting and binging, I would have been able to eat down like several of those acai bowls and still be wanting but then you get to this point where I thought I'd never get to ever in a million years that I could walk away halfway through that acai bowl and be full <laughs> you know so that's listening to you know your intuitive gauge like I'm full I don't have to finish this 
you know, I can step away without finishing it and not feel guilty. But also, on the other hand, like if I was still hungry after that acai bowl, I would have had more, you know? It's just gauging with your body. Okay, so it's around 2.40 and I am hungry again. So I'm gonna make a chicken sandwich. We'll see. So literally, I like sourdough bread. I like this mayonnaise. It's made with cage-free eggs and avocado oil and apple cider vinegar. It's pretty good. Put a half avocado on it, some lettuce, some chicken. We are. I put a couple Kalamata olives on it too. Pretty good. Sometimes I put cheese, sometimes I don't. It's 616 and I'm gonna have a couple of these little lemon cookies as a snack before I cook dinner in a little. So I forgot to film when I was cooking dinner because we listen to music and we have a good time and we're dancing and laughing and I just don't feel like taping during that and ruining that moment. So I took a little video right here of what we made for dinner. It's a light pasta. It's freaking hot. Summer. So humid and muggy. So what this is was pasta. I sauteed some mushrooms and onions and garlic powder, salt and pepper, and some olive oil and coconut oil. Um, what else? Put some cilantro in. I put some cherry tomatoes in. Oh, we mixed in the pasta, chicken sausage, this organic chicken sausage into it. And then we put some Parmesan cheese on top. And then on the side, we had a beautiful salad that Chad made for us that was romaine lettuce, avocado, cilantro, mushrooms, um, salt and pepper, you know, and then some balsamic dressing. It was beautiful. Thank you so much, Chad, if you're watching this. <laughs> And, oh, we put some Parmesan cheese on the salad too. We like to cook dinner a lot together and that's really fun. It's so much more fun to have someone to cook for and to cook with. So yeah, that was my day in a nutshell and it's always changing.